Today's Week 8 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Wyoming Cowboys traveling to San Jose to take on the San Jose State Spartans. The Cowboys are 5-1 overall and 2-0 in conference play after last week's 49-28 victory over the San Diego State Aztecs. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 7. Defensive tackle Jaden Williams was named Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week last week. The Cowboys do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. This week's National Top 25 Rankings. The Cowboys' individual stats through Week 7.
the current Cowboys recruiting board. And now, our Week 8 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the 5-1 Wyoming Cowboys travel to San Jose to take on the 3-3 three three San Jose State Spartans. We know the way to San Jose, heart of the Silicon Valley and home to the San Jose State Spartans, and anticipation has been high all week for this one. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the winners of five straight, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on the San Jose State Spartans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Cowboys will kick it away to start. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. So the San Jose State Spartans offense will take the first swing of the game. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. And the Spartans come to the line with a new set of downs. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. To throw, it's Matthews. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Now the eighth play of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. The Spartans send out the punt unit. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. So the Wyoming Cowboys. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Going to the ground. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. And they'll get him down, but boy, did he put some dudes in the spin cycle. My goodness. Nice job by the wide receiver getting open on that slant route against man coverage. He fakes like he's going to the outside. He's able to create some separation, cross his face, and then secures the catch. 
They go to the ground. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. On the run, it's Svoboda. Right on his numbers on the slant. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. Man, you see so much of this in football now. Big body wide receivers, right? Guys that can run routes and box guys out. You want to play man-to-man -man coverage on me? I'll put my big body on you. You throw it near me, I'll make the contested catch. Power football with the run. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. He finds a soft spot in the middle. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Nice patience by the quarterback there. He had his receiver running a crossing route, but the QB knew it was zone coverage, so he's got to be careful and make sure that he hits him in a window. He did that right there. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, running back gets to give. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. And you want to run the football. Right? That's okay. He'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. He came into this year with big expectations. Everybody expecting him to stat it up. And now with that last completion, he's already over 2,000 yards passing for the season. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense, going with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The San Jose State offense is back on the field. Man, David, that last drive, an exercise in frustration, just couldn't pay it off for the score. Yeah, and I think this defense is riding the bend, but don't break philosophy. Don't give up explosive plays. This offense, Jesse, has to find a way to manufacture some big plays and some scoring opportunities. Man, I don't know if they're going to win, David, if they have to keep driving 8, 10, 12 plays. You're right. You've got to find chunk plays somewhere. So identify the guys that can score touchdowns and get them the ball. And that pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. He's at the 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. 
I'll tell you what, as a DB, you're lucky if you get one pick six in your entire football life. This guy had one last game. He's got one this game. Quarterbacks are going to stop throwing his way. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Motion from the offense. The give on the inside. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's a draw. At the 20, he's got space. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. After getting nothing on the last play, will they try to throw it into the end zone on third down? Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. On the jet sweep, racing for the edge and the sticks. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans! He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Purdue is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Purdue... Over Oregon. 
We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Going to let it fly. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Cowboys. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. San Jose State has the ball and ready to go on the attack. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Wants to throw. It's Matthews. Shoots it to the left. Got him downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Spartans will hustle to the line. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rate, some revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him throw these curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. On second down, just keeps firing. Grab behind the line. It's Lockhart. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. They'll have to get it to the 37 on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Miller. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way? Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. Here's the handoff. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. The Spartans have taken it inside the 20. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Absolutely perfect. get a field goal on the board and now they'll kick it away and he takes this from inside the five really disciplined 19 
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Got three on first down at second and seven. To the air, it's Svoboda. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. Catch. The San Jose State offense is back on the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you've just simply got to make it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Spartans line up to punt it away. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Running back searching for a hole. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The offense has it now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. Dropping back, it's Svoboda getting some heat. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Looking for room. It's Scott. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. 
Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. The delay of game pushes the offense back. After the step off, now they have to deal with first and 15. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to him. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He's right on target. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. What a disappointment. No good after the miss. Still an 11-point game, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Wants to throw on second down. On target to the left. Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39 to pick up a 15. The give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. On second down, he's looking downfield. A strike downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Spartans will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out fast. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll line up trips to the right. The fourth receiver on the left on second and one. It's complete on the right side. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup on first down from the 13-yard line. Looking to pass inside the red zone. They're bringing heat. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Looking to throw, it's Matthews. They've got the screen set up. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. And the Spartans are threatening in the red zone. On second down, wants to throw. On target. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Fires to the middle. And the missed connection on third down. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. 
I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for them. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running. Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. You open a drive like that, and the entire playbook opens up on first down from the 44. He wants to throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Coming after it. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline that penalty. Obviously very happy with the results of the play. Offense in an empty set. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Find space on the right. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air, it's Svoboda. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. seconds of the first half and they'll try to put up three. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Oh, the attempt is no good. After the missed field goal, still an eight-point game and guys, more importantly, still a one-possession game.
Jose State has the ball and ready to go on the attack. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and you get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Unloads to the wideout. And that ball is picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass, perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Trying to move the sticks on third down. The give to the fullback. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And David, this is where I think you could have excelled. You're a great defensive end. There's other positions you could have played. Fullback, I know, being one of them. How about that guy there picking up the first? That's a nice job. Don't, don't make this hard. Don't make it overly complex. We've seen the big fellas block all the time. Afterburner's coming. He's piled up 82 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. The Cowboys look to keep this drive humming. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. But, and the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. They're trying to get to him. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Back to back sacks. That's the way you respond defensively. Love it. Getting after the quarterback. Even though this is running time, running situation on the field, this defense was not fooled. They were ready for the pass. They were studied up. Two sacks in back-to-back -back plays. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And he'll have to find the line and generate some power. A 46-yarder from the left. And the try is no good. Still up by eight after the miss. And man, this kicker is now 0 for 3 in this game. And you got to wonder what his confidence is like right now. He's cost his team nine points so far. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. The short hands, it's Lockhart. 
and they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him to They'll ride the hot hand. And he get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, going up top. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. And they can't make the connection on third down. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, it's a final now in one of the more intriguing games of the week, that notable top 25 clash. Florida State may not be leaving town with a blowout victory, but they'll take a dub away from Dope Campbell Stadium every time. The Knowles have been racking up road wins since the Bobby Bowden days, and they get another one today. Going to be interesting to see what the fallout from this one is for one ranked team bounce when the new rankings come out guys and Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country sounds like they had a good one there Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense we talk about settling for points but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing David it can be demoralizing yeah and it can definitely be frustrating and I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more but Jesse I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Facing a third down is short from the 26. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the big fella. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's got 99 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. And the Cowboys are on the move. Looking to throw it, Svoboda makes his connection. Complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Quarterback checking off. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. At the 35, he's open. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And, David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone. 
Firing to the right, complete. He's brought down, solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. So surprised we have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Here he comes from inside his own five. Lowers those pads, and the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. Back to pass, it's Matthews. It's on target and complete. They get him down after he makes the catch. And now on second down for this offense. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Got the back over the middle, and they pick up just a few on that completion. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. That play was designed to go to the running back. They were hoping they were going to get man coverage, and one-on-one, -on -one, that back is going to win that matchup every single time. The Spartans will call on their punt team. He'll call for the fair catch. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They'll leave it with him. Picks up the first down, still moving. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. They're getting this guy lathered up. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And that's two really good plays in a row by this defense. So. You've come up big. You've forced a third down. One more big stop. Now I can get him to punt the football, give my offense a chance to go down the field and to score some points. The give to the fullback. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. I tell you what, fullbacks are kind of dying breeds. You just don't use them very much. So when you bring them in the game, a lot of times you bring them in the game to be physical and stout blockers. And then occasionally 
You give him the ball in those short yarded situations. You say, go get me a first down, big fella. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Fights off a defender. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. He looks that one in nicely. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Fighting off the defender. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Let's it go. Wide open downfield. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left. And he can... And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming! That score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. That was a great example of a running back toting the rock with conviction. There's not a lot of time to hesitate. If you see a split second, you see a hold, you've got to hit it right now. Nice job by the RB there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Purdue is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Purdue Pete isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They're up by five over Oregon. To the air on first down. He's going to let it go. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. 
Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Spartans will send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Not going to risk a return here. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer is a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Keep it on the ground. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He makes the connection. You know, and I think a more accurate throw gives him a chance to catch that in stride, turn up field, and get the first down. He was able to pluck it out of the air, get his foot down and bounds, but now it sets up fourth and short. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball comes to rest. And the punter pulling out his pitching wedge on that. Look at the spin on this ball. It just died as soon as it hit the ground. Beautiful job. Couldn't find any way to get out of the end zone, and they get him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. Running it back, it's Merritt. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. After picking up a couple at second and eight, On the move. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Quick strike complete. Powers through. He'll work his way down to the 28. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have, is surprising, I gotta be honest. And the Cowboys come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The handoff keep working on that clock. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. They'll give it to him again. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He leaves it with the back. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. The Cowboys line it up with a first and goal. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. Nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. The give. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they'll take a knee. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. Now, I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that... They know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
starting defensive tackle Jaden Williams suffered a dislocated elbow in today's game and will be out approximately two weeks. Next week's Week 9 Mountain West Conference Showdown is a rivalry game as the Utah State Aggies come into Laramie to take on the Cowboys in Bridger's Battle.